Hello and welcome to Blockchain Central, where we dive into the world of cryptocurrencies and digital assets. Since the initial launch in 2013, Telegram, a cloud-based instant messaging and voiceover IP service, has garnered much popularity. By 2018, over 70 billion messages have been sent by 300 million monthly active users, making Telegram one of the largest messaging platforms in the world. Having a vast user base and top technology, the platform owners saw the opportunity to capitalize on Telegram's popularity and create a blockchain cryptocurrency network. Before we explore the Telegram open network, first, let's take a brief look into Telegram's history. Pavel Durov and his brother, Dr. Nikolai Durov, founded Telegram in 2013. The pair also created VContacted, Russia's largest social network. While Nikolai developed the technological basis for the messenger, Pavel supported the project financially and provided the infrastructure through his Digital Fortress Fund. As of now, Telegram features voice messaging, sending photos, videos, and files of all types and forming groups of up to 200,000 members. In 2019 though, the platform saw 3 million new users a day due to the network outages on Facebook earlier this year, according to the CEO, Pavel Durov. To achieve maximum security, Telegram uses a three-layer encryption system and has servers in multiple countries. And while the platform's security decisions are criticized, certain governments do not want to support it. Investors agree that, Telegram's commitment to decentralization makes it attractive to millions of crypto enthusiasts across the globe. Telegram Open Network is a blockchain platform protected by a built-in proxy and an anonymizer built on the principle of an overlay P2P network. It has messaging services, payment transactions in Gram cryptocurrency, data storage, and an operating system for distributed applications. The brother's goal was to build a platform that would disrupt the centralized application space and would be eventually transformed into a fast, scalable, and secure blockchain network. The speed and scalability are very important for the popularity of any cryptocurrency. That's why Telegram Open Network will allow users to purchase, transfer, and store value in ID verifiable wallets facilitated by the Gram coin. So what is Gram? The Gram coin is a cryptocurrency based on the TON blockchain platform developed by Telegram. The main advantage of the Gram blockchain platform is the high speed transaction capacity expected to allow millions of transactions per second. In the description of the blockchain system distributed among potential investors in January 2018, the team promised that TON will process transactions much faster than the most common Bitcoin and Ethereum blockchains. Moreover, it will be able to compete in the payment speeds with Visa and MasterCard. In 2018, Telegram put together an initial coin offering to fund the development of its blockchain platform. The ICO raised an astounding $1.7 billion by selling Gram tokens to the investors. The tokens will then be used to pay for services on TON network dApps. Out of 5 billion Gram tokens that will be released, Telegram will retain 52%. 44% were sold to investors during the ICO, and 4% will go to the development budget. TON was expected to be released on October 31st, 2019. However, the US Securities and Exchange Commission started the investigation on TON presumably violating the United States security laws. On October 11, the SEC stated in its press release that it had filed an emergency restraining order against the Telegram Group and its subsidiary, TON, issuer for their 1.7 billion token sale. During this sale, 2.9 billion gram tokens were sold to 171 initial purchasers at a discounted price, 39 of them from the United States, including the American VC benchmark and Lightspeed Capital. So the SEC is now making the case that the ICO was illegal. Due to its restraining order, Telegram will not be allowed to sell or otherwise distribute gram tokens within the US and will have to return all the investments to initial US customers. And as the US is an extremely important market for Telegram, the feud with the SEC could destroy the platform. In an effort to calm things down and gather some defense forces, Telegram announced that it is pushing the TON launch date from October 31st, 2019 to April 30th, 2020. So the problem of TON right now is not that Telegram has to return the money to US investors and abandon the possibilities of working in the US legal field. The problem is that after making such a decision, the TON network will become illegal. It would not operate under the law of the United States of America. So the network would not be integrated into the Telegram Messenger, it wouldn't be listed on exchanges, it wouldn't be integrated into official payment channels. While the investors supported Telegram and accepted to wait till next year, 
The tensions with the SEC could undermine Pavlodurov's ambitious plans to disrupt the existing crypto market. Before you go, please note that this video does not represent financial, legal, or tax advice, nor is it supposed to be understood or interpreted as solicitation to buy or sell any securities, coins, or tokens. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to Blockchain Central to never miss a beat. Also, check out our vlog. Link in the description below. You can also follow me on Instagram at TheBlueMantic to catch up with my other projects. See you in the next one.